dog, you can trust your droid. Because your droid and your dog, they have loyalty. Women do not have loyalty. Just saying. All right, my droid needs to have a conversation with me. Let's talk to T7 and see what the fuck's up. Of course you're happy working with me because I'm a man, not a woman. I don't have emotional problems and I don't tell you about my feelings and all this other shit. So yeah, but you got Evil that right. doesn't stand a chance with the two of us around. Yeah, neither do women. Who's Shafu? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I What's don't up? imagine he just decided to retire because you asked nicely. Convinced him, huh? Right. He re changed his ways. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I think he lied. Naive. As soon as Master Zalo was gone, Shafu went back to his slaving ways. Exactly. What? Oh, so he's like a fed. He's like a fed snitch. Ah, he's probably doing he probably okay. decided to lay low after Master Zala was killed. Get out of the game before his cover was blown. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. I mean, after all, women aren't going to save the galaxy. I mean, shit. They're, I mean, they can't even do math. They can't even show up to work on time. How the hell are they going to save the galaxy? How much time do I have left in my experience boost? Eight minutes. Got more XP boost? Yes, I do. All right, what the fuck is that? Uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about that right now. We'll do all that later. All right, what's up, fuckers? It is the great one himself. He is the founder. We're going to play some Star Wars. We're going to... Oh, we're going to Nar Shaddaa. I hope you eat properly while away from the shipmaster. Perhaps I should create non-perishable meals to send with you. Uh, no, I don't eat non-perishable meals. I only eat real food that has a single ingredient. All right, hey, Kira, what's up, baby? The force be with us. Or how about my uh, Schwartz? Can my Schwartz be inside you? you? Know what I learned from my first council meeting? I can sleep standing up. Yeah, yeah, Jedi council meetings are pretty fucking boring. Like most meetings. All right, we are going to Narshida. Let's fucking do this. Oh, what's up, bitches? Uh, it is the great one. I have a beer, Dos Equis. We're going to try to make this a little more fun than the previous episode. General, I've arrived on Nar Shaddaa. Still no word from Agent Galen? However... After Terrace and Lord Mantell, I fear the worst. I'll warn you now. The project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Yeah, you should have done a lot of things. Conversations like this never end well. No, they don't. The people fuck up. On Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. Mm. Looked weak, helpless. Oh, you mean like governments Senate do. Yeah. research into science we have no business exploring. Using, Using tax money. To turn ordinary yeah. men into living weapons. With stolen the money. Our guard program was creating the ultimate soldier. Mm. One tough enough to fight a Sith head on. But why, why, instead of fighting the Sith, why don't you just admit that the Sith are right and that diversity is not your strength and that diversity is actually a weakness and the Republic isn't going to fucking work because it's filled with diversity. Uh, let's see. One soldier to fight the Sith head on. Uh, you have, yeah, but the Jedis are pussies, and you know that. Not much of a, not, yeah, yeah, I think you just, yeah, you, uh, not much of a super I was weapon. expecting something that could threaten a whole planet. Yeah. Look how much damage a lone Jedi can do. Not and much. Multiply that by thousands or millions. Nar Shaddaa has the latest advances in cybernetics, combat adrenals, personal armor, and weapons. Everything we need to create the Power Guards. The Power Guards. It's like the Power Rangers. Power There's Rangers. I can't talk. Lack of government oversight. <laughs> <laughs> so it's <laughs> neutral space. Laws are practically <laughs> So it's anarcho-capitalism. <laughs> Oh, oh no, we're going to add our cap up, uh, and <laughs> we're going to add capitize. I'm actually not drunk. I'm just having a good time. Uh, this, is o this is only my fifth beer, and that's not like in the last 10 minutes either. So yeah, we're going to add capitize. Great. Uh, let's see. Tell me. Uh, ju yes, just the way I the like it. The rules I have to deal with, the better. Yes. That's what we thought when we started this mess. 
No, but Places you're the government. In charge of the power guard project. Gave him unlimited authority and enough credits. To oh, that nothing could go wrong there. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. Yeah. I don't even know where it is. Nothing. <laughs> So, so hold on. So we're the government. We're funding this super secret weapon that's supposed to take down the Sith. And we just gave one guy a whole bunch of money and we have no idea where he's even at. Right. And remember, remember, without the government, well, who would protect nine-year-olds from being enslaved in prison camps where we, they would have to give blowjobs all day long? <sighs> I don't even know where it is. What a silly security measure. You should have spent less time worrying about your blasted reputation. Exactly. I told myself I was protecting the Republic. Yeah, that's what you told Darth yourself. Darth Angrel learned our operative's name and contact data from the file stolen on Coruscant. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. I can only assume they're dead or captured. All right, so what do you want me to, to do about on. it? How will I find this facility? You won't be hunting alone. Oh. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service branch on that. Oh, uh, not them. The chief's name is Raikin. SIS headquarters is hidden uh, on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift in the back to meet with Raikin. Yeah, whatever. Oh, shop, secret turbo lift. Got it. <laughs> I feel like a spy already. I'm the closest I've living thing to James Bond. Bond. I, I'm Cobra Look. Tate. Uh, I'm the closest. I'm the closest living thing to James Bond. I had sex with Jordan Peterson's daughter, and I banged Lauren Southern. I'm the closest living thing to James Bond. Dude. 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 Oh, wait. Hang on. I got to check this. Because this is a thing. A hey, great one. What's a thing? It's just, just deal with it. It's a thing. Didn't I kill this guy? Greetings, my friend. The Holonets are filled with stories of your victory on Coruscant. Yeah, because I'm a badass. Everything you achieved on Tython was only a prelude. You are becoming the greatest weapon the Jedi will ever know. Mm -hmm. When you executed Darth Angrel's son, I hope it was with the lightsaber I taught you to build at the Great Forge. I remain your most loyal comrade. May the Force be with you. Oh, don't worry. The force is with me. Got the power of Ancapa Dice right here. All right. Let us, let us. Providing you with the highest level of service is my greatest pleasure, Master. Is it? And I am not just programmed to say that. Actually, you are. You're just saying it for your own benefit. All right, let's get our asses down to this planet. What the hell is this? Is this any? Nope, that's all right. Let's go hit Narshada. Party time. San Kappa Dice. There's no laws. There's no laws. Oh, I must say the people who gave a giant ton of money to a person to go build super weapons and then promptly lost track of where he's at. Oh, boy. People want a great one. Why do you enjoy playing this game? I, I can't fucking figure it out. All right. You can't take this guy from Hammy? Uh huh. All right. And one airport looks just like another. There's my badass spaceship. You're welcome. Yeah, look at that. One airport looks just like another. Total shithole. Advertisements all over the walls. Yeah, this one's for Viagra. That one's for... Oh my god, isn't the gym this morning? There were no attractive girls. And I saw the TV commercial again for the... The medication, the pill you take that helps you poop. It's a stool softener. And they had like this stupid little rhyme, you know, like number two shouldn't be hard to do is what I think it said. I'm just like, oh, my God, Americans are so fucking gay. How how in the fuck? You know, here's the thing that's even gayer than America 
and Americans and like just how fat we are and how we constantly worship niggers and the trannyism and everything. Think about this. As gay as the United States is, we're the most powerful empire on the planet Earth right now. What does that say about everyone else? Holy fuck. Could any could could anyone just locate a ball sack? Like fuck, we are such We are such pussies. Here's a pill to fucking soften your stool so you can take a shit. God, we're pathetic. And yet, we're the dominant country and the dominant economy on the planet Earth. The fuck is wrong with you people? All right, we on the promenade, which is basically this is the shopping mall. Welcome to Ann Capadice. A bunch of shameless advertising and shit like that. But we do get to look at Kira's butt as she runs down the hallway. So, I mean, you can't beat that. That's totally worth it. Can I zoom in on that ass? Oh, yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. You can let her shit in my face just this to see where it comes from. For Republican Empire. No fighting allowed. Or so they say. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about what they say. Oh, they is that what they say? Is that what they say, Kira? Did they say that? Oh, okay. Well, hey. I mean, if they say. We can't argue with they, can we? Oh, this is the most empty bar I have ever seen. Dude, there's no bartender. Oh, oh my. F oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. I can't drink any. No, no. A great time, all right. Don't we have a planet to save somewhere? No, what? No, I want a part. What did she say? <laughs> Not a great time, all right. No, fuck the planet. Look at all this booze. <laughs> God damn, I can't drink any of them. Sometimes you can actually drink the booze in the game. There's places where you can buy booze and have a drink. God damn it, all that booze and nobody here to stop me. And it's all locked up. I hate that. Oh, that sucks. Man, I'm so, I'm so oppressed. My God, the patriarchy is holding me down, guys. You know, I wanted to show up to work on time yesterday, but I just couldn't do it. Because the patriarchy. And the fuck... Uh, dude, where's your hair? And why is there a space nigger in here? That's the second field agent who's missed a check-in. Our network's under attack. We don't know that. Boomer! We know agent oh my god. Person. He's telling the enemy where to hit us. If it makes you feel better, transmit alert level Omega to all field agents. See how many respond. The Jedi who eliminated Watcher One. Glad to meet you. I'm Bureau Chief Riken. Boomer! Wish I had better news to report. We're fumbling in the dark right now. Boomer! That's because you're a fucking boomer. And you're clinging to shit. Well, you know, in the 1950s, this is how we conducted our spying activities. And why, we could use some modern technology to transmit information, but I prefer to rely on carrier pigeons. Like I did when I was your age. I mentioned when I was your age. Why, we, uh, we didn't have all this stuff like you do. Why, we had to uphill in the snow. Oh, shut up, boomer. All right. Uh, that's not what I want to hear. Blind spies aren't much good to me. In my job, you can't always trust what you see. Uh, that's because you can't see Here's anything, because you're a boomer. The little you know, Agent yes. Galen came here to secure a top-secret operation. Something hidden, even from us. Right. Galen disappeared in the Nikto sector while pursuing a contact. Fortunately, he left a trail we can follow. And... What do you know about the person Galen was after? Right. The general said it was the operative in charge of his project. More than that, I don't know. Galen left Dude. coded progress reports at SIS dead drops all over the Nikto sector. 
Unfortunately, that whole area's gone hostile. I had to mm. pull my agents out. You want those reports? You'll have to go in alone. Right, of course. Goodness. For a second, I thought this might be too easy. Uh, don't I worry, Kara. Mega alert. Only half our field agents responded. I'm telling you we're compromised. We need to move this headquarters before it's too late. I mean, as bad as much as I don't like agreeing with the space nigger, you should probably... I mean, you're a boomer. I mean, he's a nigger, but he at least doesn't appear to have his head shoved up his ass. Probably because those big giant tentacles prevent him from getting his head up there. But you're a boomer, and the odds of you being right about anything are pretty much zero. So I'm going to say that you should fucking move your base. Darth Angrel is clearly targeting the SIS. Time to move. And you're incompetent. Wipe the computers and leave Narshada. Evacuating this facility is out of the question. Okay, We're Boomer. We're safe here, and we have a mission to complete. Which you're I've not doing a good job of. I've of Agent Galen's dead drops. Download his messages to your holo and contact me. I'll decode them. Let's get some answers. Good luck. By let's, by let's get some answers, the boomer means you go get some answers. I'm going to sit here with my head up my ass and ignore a reality. The reality that my uh, mission here has been compromised because I'm a really fucking shitty special agent. And, I, you know, now if Cobra Tate was here, because Cobra Tate is the closest living thing to James Bond. Cobra Tate would totally be able to fucking handle this operation without being compromised by the enemy. Right? Because he's gonna he can control the frame. He is James Bond. Oh, there's a bartender now. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up, babe? You uh you want a drink, sweetie? I could uh I could hook you up with something to quench your thirst. Alright, I guess not. Let's go, Kira. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, great one. You're going to hell if you don't change your ways. I'm already in hell. So, you know, I was thinking, because I do that occasionally, and I don't like doing it because it never results in anything good. It's just pure fucking pain. I was. When was I thinking? It happened so infrequently, I have to kind of try to keep track of when I did it. I was thinking this morning. So here in the the R of the C, not being in the F of the C anymore. And back in Fort Collins, you know, essentially it was obvious that the left had won, right? The BLM signs and the here in this house we believe and everything. It was just, it was obvious that the left had won. Where am I going? I'm going here. And here in Rapid City, it's like going back in time it's like going back in time about 30 years. Because here, the left hasn't won yet. But you can see them winning. Like I'm driving through downtown this morning, and I see these little banners hanging on the lamppost downtown. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay that say rapid city versus racism which of course is another way of saying exterminate white people and it it really is like rapid city right now is kind of like what fort collins was when i moved there you could see like the the elements of leftism and the anti-whiteism and everything like that sort of around the edges but it hadn't completely taken control of everything yet. And so, if, like, if I'm still here in, I think, even 10 years, because it's going to accelerate. Like, if I'm still here in 10 years, this place is going to be as fucking leftist as Fort Collins was when I left it. Hey, leveled up. Whoops. And I hit the wrong button there for a minute. So there's a little glitch in the audio or video recording, probably. I'm supposed to be doing this. Do I have anything? Nope. I gotta see if I gotta get any new shit here. Have any new augments available? Nope. All right. All right. Carry on, great one. Carry on. What's that? 
Yeah, oh, no, no, we're not doing that. So anyhow, and what's really sad is, and this, you know, this reminds me, you can't run away. Because there's this thing among the conservatives and the right, well, you know. This and is where all the bargain shoppers come. I wouldn't inspect the merchandise too closely. Mm, I'd like to inspect you closely. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, anyway. All the conservatives and the right tards and everything. I mean, they're correct when they say get the fuck out of the city. That part is right. But the thing is, there's really no place you can go. I like how the, this is a phone booth. I like how the phone booths here on Nar Shaddaa look kind of like TARDISes. I mean, there's no place you can go that's going to stay safe forever. You can get out of the places where the leftists have taken control, like Fort Collins. And you can go someplace like Rapid City where the leftists don't completely control everything yet. But it is only a matter of time. It is literally Hitler. Only a matter of time. Until the leftists control everything. Alright, I guess we're gonna fight. Take that! I haven't played this character in so long. I've completely forgotten all the mechanics of how he works. So I'm gonna have to remember all of these things. Right, you grab that, I'll grab this. Be like Bonnie and Clyde here. I'm going to kill these guys just for the practice. All right, where is this thing? Can you get in my way? I just take you out. Oh, he's a butcher. Dude, I need... He's a butcher. Can I get some pork chops? I chop on Kira's pork. All right, now I gotta go all the way to the fuck over there. Yeah, let's take the scenic route. Fuck it. Should I hit my speeder? Yeah, whatever. You guys can't catch me. Losers. See what happens now. Hmm. Why oh, somebody bothering me on the phone? What do you want? See, I'm trying to work. Chief Riken, I've downloaded all of Agent Galen's coded messages. Transmitting a decryption signal to your hollow. The scrambling. Hmm. Times and locations, standard tracking details, and one priority hollow. Playing that back now. Found our lead operative. Dead. He'd been tortured. The power guard data files are missing. Oh, like no Biden's laptop. Location, but there was evidence of a recruitment center here. The oh. The was using refugees as test subjects. A tranny recruitment, recruitment center? is my best shot at finding the main facility. I'm going in. Leaving the site's coordinates just in case. Galen out. Took guts going in there alone. 
Not sure what's worse. The enemy stealing our weapons project, or us experimenting on refugees. Yeah, you know, because us diverse, tolerant democracy governments, we would never experiment on refugees or anything like that. I mean, you know, here in the United States, we've never conducted experiment. I mean, granted, the Tuskegee experiment was only on black men, and they don't really matter. But still, yeah, I mean, we certainly didn't put any Indians on reservations. And uh, we certainly didn't put any Japanese people in internment camps. So, I mean, it's fine. I, just, I can't believe that a, that, a, that a paradise society like the Republic, you know, based on diversity and democracy, would experiment on refugees. Now, of course, now here in the United States, the greatest empire on the planet Earth, the most powerful force on the planet Earth with the most powerful economy. Now, of course, we just welcome refugees to come in here and impregnate our women and destroy our gene pool and turn all the white people kind of mushy, brownish yellow. But hey, hey, you know, this is just the great one commenting upon the state of the world. This, of course, has nothing to do with reality. In reality, diversity is our strength. And you just take multiple medications per day and everything will be fine because you're following the science. And did you see that the WHO declared the Wuhan crisis is over? There's, the Wuhan is over. It's safe now. But you should still be afraid because the Wuhan is actually still dangerous, even though the pandemic is over. The Wuhan is still dangerous. All right, what are we doing here? Let's see. Uh, experimenting on refugees. I don't want your agents. They're just going to slow me down. No, they actually, I, we, we need more border control, not less. I mean, I don't care about these experiments. It, you know, oh, the children are being separated at the border. Okay, the government of the United States is not going into Mexico and finding children and separating from their parents, all right? The children being separated from their parents at the border are the children of the parents who are deliberately taking their children and coming to the border of the United States and then trying to enter the government, enter the government, enter the country illegally. I have no sympathy. All of this, they're separating children from their parents. Okay, their parents made the decision to violate the laws of another country. What do I give a shit? Like, you people are so fucking retarded. All right, I need to stop the enemy because nobody else is going to do it because you're a boomer. Your second in command, who is actually right and you're not listening to him, is a space nigger, and everybody else is a fucking woman, so I'm going to have to handle this. The Sith have stolen the Power Guard project. I have to get it back. Because you can't. A blind assault is dangerous. Yeah, shut That's up, boomer. Your only option. Agent Galen, or whoever got him, holds the key to recovering the Power Guard project. The trail ends at that recruitment center. The Powerpuff Girls. Get inside there, find out what's happened. Good luck, Ragnarok. Okay, Boomer. Okay, you need to. Do, I, I know what I need to do, Boomer. I really don't need any input from your fucking ancient ass. Okay, let's just chill. All right, Kira, why don't you go grab that? I'm a boomer. I'm a boomer. We're both boomer as fuck. Boomer. And it's double XP week, as you see right down here. See? Oh, yeah. X double XPs, motherfuckers. Plus, I got my XP bonus here. So, I got extra XP there. We're going to level up fast. Question is, can I level up enough to score with Kira? That's all that really matters. All right. Let's go kick some ass. What's the lay of the land here? All right. We got it. My force. I'm a boomer. I'm a boomer. Boomer. Boomer as fuck. Boomer. What's shot, boomer? I'm the, I'm the closest living thing to James Bond. Oh, God, imagine when Cobra Tate becomes like boomer age. You'll be all right. I'm here to help. <laughs> but I'm not from the government. I'm really the here to help. The center was overrun with Imperials. No sign of Agent Galen. 
but I've just freed some refugees. Well, there's three Imperials. Heroes. What? These people put their lives on the line for victory over the Empire. Oh, whatever. Name's Velnarok. Been recruiting volunteers for the Power Guard project since it started. Those people asked to become test subjects? The Empire stole their homeworlds. They jumped at the chance for payback. Over the years, hundreds of people volunteered for the Power Guard experiments. Heroes. heroes. All of them. Heroes, like nurses. They're heroes, guys. Now, are any of them wearing capes? That's what I need to know. They're heroes. Oh, God. Are, oh, my God. How many of them are teachers? Teachers. Is there anybody out there? There's got to be. There's got to be somebody out there who is a nurse, but then like works as a substitute teacher or something like that. Can you imagine? I'm a double hero. I'm two heroes in one. I should be wearing two capes. I'm a nurse and a teacher. All right. Uh, tell, I don't care about these heroes. How did, uh, how did the Imperials get control? Tell me what happened here. Uh, tell me what the fuck's going fresh on. fresh recruits when Imperials stormed inside. They rounded us up. Us? Threw us in the cage. Is there a mouse in and your pocket? The Empire found us. But they control the whole project now. Yeah, I mean, certainly with the vast amounts of competency so far displayed by the Republic military, how could there possibly have been a leak in you know, information that would allow the Empire to find out? I mean, it was Empire. They all talk with a funny accent. I mean, they must all be stupid, right? I mean, it's the Empire is controlled predominantly by heterosexual white men. They must obviously be incompetent. Uh, I need to find the main lab. No, I just, can I, I just need to find this place. Tell me where the power guard experiments take place. Never seen the main lab. No. Uh, someplace in the red light sector. Imperials oh. are sending people there for testing. Red light. That's one of the busiest parts of Nar Shaddaa. We'll never find the lab. Yes, we will. I've heard it's the only building with a dedicated energy reactor. Does that help? Absolutely. Power. Contact me when you're in the red light sector. I'll have a plan. Riken out. Well, I will plan. I'll get these volunteers to safety. I hope you kill every last one of those Imperials. <sighs> I was your age. I was your age. Uh, quiet. Great. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this diversity. I mean, here, there's your problem. This is the problem with the Republic. Uh, my diversities. Okay. Well, how's your diversities working out for you? I'm just, you know, I'm just, I, I, I'm just asking questions here. Just want to know how is that diversities working for you? Look at that. Uh, hang on a second. What level is Kira? Oh shit. I need to level her up. Now that's what I call a gift. Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't I tell you to fucking get that? What are you doing? Thank you, bitch. And get that. God, fucking women. You tell them. No, I'm I'm serious. This is not like I'm not asking now you. Now that's what I call a gift. Telling you. Now that's what I call a gift. Now see, this is an annoying now part of the game. Now that's what I call a gift. <sighs> now that's what I call a gift. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that's what I call a gift. Really need to eat. Now that's what I call a gift. We need a mute companion function. All right, where the hell am I going? Do da do da. Actually, I don't have to go there. I can go to. I think I can go here. Yes. Now that's what I call Vehicle a gift. pads are currently open for business. <clears throat> Have a safe and pleasant stay. We go into the... Notice too, in Ancapodice, so we're supposed to be going over here. 
but watch how we take like the scenic route to get there over here on the map. So we're going up here to the red light sector. Oh, this one's actually going kind of close because sometimes you'll like be going from here, right? And, and you'll go way, and it'll go way the hell like over here, and it'll go way, and, and it'll go way around like this, and then bam, you'll end up. It's hilarious. <clears throat> it's like, it's like actual in real life. You get in the taxi, you tell the driver where you want to go, and he's like, ah, this guy, he's from out of town. He doesn't know his way around the town. I'll drive an extra five miles. How the fuck is he going to know? See, in Kappa Dice, that shit would happen. Who's that? No. Is that who I think it is? Oh, God. I, yeah. I, no. Do not want to run his missions. Really annoying character. All right. What am I doing here? Go to the red light sector. And got to talk to the boomer on the phone again. Boomers, they always want to talk on the phone. Can we just send, can you just send me a fucking email? <laughs> Great one. Can you call me when you have to? No, can you just send me an email and tell me what you want? I don't have time to, I don't want to talk to you on the phone. God. I'm in the red light sector. You have a plan for finding that main lab? If the power guard facility has a dedicated reactor, it's immune to energy fluctuations affecting the power Wow, grid. did you figure that out My on your own? My team is monitoring energy readings in that sector. All you have to do is cause some fluctuations. Mm. Applying a lightsaber to the right power conduits ought to do the trick. Mm, yeah, lightsabers, pretty I useful. I solve a lot of problems with my weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Wish I had one every time a stack of data pads lands on my desk. Oh, 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 boomer Send humor. The coordinates oh, oh, power oh, oh, oh. Hit them all, and we'll get a fix on that power guard main lab. I'd rather and hit Kira. Careful. The red light sector may look civilized. But it's nothing of the sort. Riken out. Yeah, back at a place. Oh, I love it. Fuck civilization. I mean, the United States of America is civilized. Look at what we have. We got trannies. We got fags. We got fucking gay pride marches. We got, we got our churches have fucking flag at flags out front of them. Oh, yeah. Civilization. Right. Right. I'm really fucking interested in civilization. They put these power conduits a long way apart, didn't they? Oh, look at uh, that's the oh kind of crappy ass music. Hey, babe, what's up? Um, I got I got something tubular you could put up in front of your mouth. What's up with that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweetheart, yeah. Ah, yeah, baby. Ooh, that's dance, baby. Oh, yeah. But Oh, she's in the middle. It's like a threesome. We're making a sandwich. It's a singer sandwich. Me and Kira, we're making a singer sandwich. All right, let's get back to work. We got to get shit done. Great one. We ain't got time for this. This is where you buy all the best technology. Some of it's even legal. Yeah, by technology, she means vibrators. Don't worry, Kara. I'm gonna get plenty of equipment to keep you satisfied. You want? I do not want you to be unhappy. And you know, whenever that female hysteria starts kicking in, we're gonna whip out some of that instrumentation. We're gonna freaking technology your blues away. Zzz, Kira's gonna be like, oh yes, oh great one, thank you. Like no problem, babes. That's what I'm here for. Make sure you're happy. And stay down. What the hell is this guy? Oh, you just like lay. Oh, it's homeless people. So we're hey hey, welcome to downtown Fort Collins. Where the drunk homeless people are just laying around on the sidewalk. Where am I? Oh, I missed it. And there we go. Do a little property damage. Hey, look, it's a back alley thief, otherwise known as a government official. Let's kill him, just for the hell of it. Thanks for coming.
There you go, Kira. There's your rock. Oh, man. So it's kind of tempting to kill these people when they're all standing around like this. Oh, it's more Kiras. Look, it's the Kira twins. Lightsaber jerk. God, Boomer's on the phone again. There's a security chest, but somebody already looted it. You bastards. All right, hang on, Boomer. Let me find a safe place to talk. Right, I'm in the middle of downtown Fort Collins with all the homeless people. All right, she's getting that. Go get that. Try not to get caught. Good girl. You're going to get a cookie when we get back to the ship. I got to have something else for you when we get back to the ship also. All right. Hang on, Boomer. Just fucking hold your horses. Christ. All right. This looks, should be safe. Only one building in the sector maintained a steady energy supply when you disrupted those power conduits. That has to be the main lab. Sending coordinates now. Aside from Agent Galen and the test subjects, we have no idea what you'll face in there. How will you play this? Yeah, exactly. One chance and then BAM! I'll give the enemy an opportunity to surrender. They don't take it, that's their problem. With luck, you'll catch the opposition off guard. You're in for a hell of a fight. Don't worry. Here goes nothing. Contact me when it's done. Riken out. Okay, you call me up and tell me about it when you're finished there. I'm just going to sit around the office and be a government boomer. Yeah, you, you do that. Stay the fuck out of my way. Don't worry, I'm the closest living thing to James Bond. I can handle this. Call me Cobra Tate for a reason. It's because I have gay-ass facial hair. No fucking chin. And I post selfies on Instagram like I'm a goddamn woman. And the whole, the whole Cobra Tate being in prison thing. You know, and everybody, oh my god, Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. Oh, fuck. What's, what do you even supposedly do? Human trafficking or some shit? I mean, who fucking cares? I mean, dude, as far as I'm concerned, if you're banging Jordan Peterson's daughter, you probably deserve to be locked into a small room. I mean, for your own good, because clearly, you, like a woman, you have no impulse control. I mean, Michaela Peterson comes in here and says, oh, great one, I want you to do me. I'd be like, sorry, sweetheart, I only fuck with inside my species. You're going to need to move on. So it's, it, it really is probably for his own good to be restrained because he evidently has no fucking impulse control. Yeah, huh? Lightsaber jerk. Oh, hang on a minute. I gotta fix something here. 
Force Camouflage. I want that to be in my number 12. All right. I must have just got that when I leveled up. Let me check something real quick here. What level am I? 31? No? You know, one of the things they changed in this game that I don't like is now when you level up and you get new abilities, they just sort of appear on your bar without any notice. Whereas previously... You, you, you knew. It let you know that you had something new that your character could do. And sometimes it, you had to make choices and the choices were obvious. You could still make choices. Like you can go in here, like here, like I can choose one of these. But it's not real obvious. In the old system, you had points and then you'd go, you have this many points to spend. Oh, and then you'd go in there and you'd allocate your points on whatever powers you wanted. It was, it was better. That looks like experimentation. Awesome. Let's go check this shit out. We've been waiting for you, Jedi. Darth Angrel told me you defeated Watcher One and Inquisitor Farav. Impressive. Yes, I am. Why you're not here? Scared, huh? You soldiers, lay down your weapons. I promise you'll be treated fairly. More than you deserve. You killed good men at that recruitment center. Loyal soldiers. The best. The best. The best of the best. I mean, I'm kind of sorry for their deaths. I mean, you know, the Empire isn't into diversity. The Empire's not all wrong. However, eh, okay, let's see. Hmm. They were... They were government stooges, though. I mean, they were statist. I mean, these guys were, were probably on the internet pretending to be 14-year-old girls because that's what they get paid for to try to entrap people and stuff. I don't know. I'm going to go with they were incompetent. If they were any good at their jobs, they'd still be alive. There it is. For that, you die slowly. I am, I'm going to die very slowly. He could execute you personally. And I left him a few gifts to help. Mark one power guards, not as destructive as the later models I possess, but quick to assemble and quite malleable. It took nothing to wipe their useless minds and program them to serve me. All right, look, I just need to know where my you agent is. a Republic agent. What have you done with him? Something extraordinary, but you won't live to see it. Kill the Jedi. Cut out the Padawan's tongue and bring it to me. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. You leave my bitch's tongue alone. The only place Kira's tongue is going is my asshole. That is not impressive. Oh my god, is that Boomer? I have got to fucking... Block his number. You're too late, Riken. Darth Angrel's apprentice raided the lab. There's nothing left here. I found an encrypted data pad on an Imperial officer. Looks important. It may have information on where the enemies move to. Bring the data pad back to headquarters. My slicers will crack the decryption. We'll have to move fast to stop the enemy. Hurry. Okay, Boomer. I really needed you to tell me that, you know, time is of the essence. Oh, bitches. Level 32, motherfuckers. 
Oh, I can up my armor and everything. Fucking A. Alright, where am I? I got it. Where's he at? Promenade. Alright. Let's get our asses over here. So that's another bug. When I bring up the map and the map doesn't actually fucking come up, it's I have to close the map and then bring the map up again. That's another bug from the latest update because every time they update this game, they introduce a new fuck up. But remember, we're going to put people back on the moon. God, there's no way in hell I would fucking trust NASA to put me on the moon. <laughs> I've also, I just finished binging on a whole bunch of Art of Manliness podcasts. There's some really good ones, including he did an interview with an American astronaut who has the longest continuous time in space. And it was, it was really good. There's, and I've just started now catching up on Dick Show. I've got, I think it's 32 episodes of the Dick Show queued up that I'm going to blast through. Oh, gosh. Let's see. All right. Should I? I really should go up my armor. But you guys don't really need to watch that. So I think what I'm going to do, I am going to I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to go get my new armor and all this other shit. And how am I doing on beer? Might need another beer. And then I'll be back, and we will continue from where we are right now. Although, before I do that, though, let me show you guys my fucking badass fucking train here that I got. I've been wanting this for a while. I finally scored it. Uh-oh. Am I? Okay. Thought I was, I'm, in my, I'm in my rocking chair. Thought I was rocking on the cable for the headset, but I was not. This is my train. Look at that. It's going right through those holes. It's long. It's hard, it's stiff, it's going through holes. I mean, you know, there's no, uh, there's no symbology here or anything like that. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, baby. Put some chandeliers in there, classed it up a little bit. There's the cockpit, you know, the cock pit, the cock pit, get it, get it, cock pit, oh my god, great one, so fucking gay, the cock pit, so anyhow, there's that, <laughs> Ooh. all right, see, see, look at that, just, it's long and hard, baby, long and hard, just the way Kira likes it. All right, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do my business, and we'll be back. See you cats in a minute. They say, great one, why you want to say those nasty words? Great one, why you want to say those nasty rhymes? Great one, why you dissing all the girls? You guys don't know that song. That's some too short. You fuckers, you, even rap music, you fuckers don't know good rap music. All right, here we go. Let's go back and talk to the boomer. Just laying in the middle of the floor. All right, what the fuck's going on? Oh, oh yeah, look. Somebody's fucking base has been compromised. Gee, I told you you needed to get the fuck out. Uh, no, we're not going to listen. No, nobody listens to the great one. Nobody, I tell you, motherfuckers. Like, stop eating shitty food. Nope, you just, oh, great one. I want to eat hot dogs and hamburgers. I want to eat uh, Pop-Tarts. And uh, bo -bo -bo. And, uh, don't listen to the great one. The great one tells you go fucking gym. Go lift some weights. Oh, no, great one. I want to pick up. I want to pick up. 
Boo, I will pick up anything heavy, great one. I will hurt myself. I'm scared. Ah, I had to work. I got home at 1 o'clock this morning. Slept for like four hours. Went to the gym on no coffee and four hours of sleep. Oh, man, I got my ass kicked. I tried to do bench presses. My bench pressing sucked giant balls. Then I did this squat machine. I actually did okay on that because it was a machine, and that helped. But yeah, my bench press this morning was total shit. Yeah, bitches. I warned him. I told yeah. the Deacon this base was compromised. I know. I She's heard you. Dead. They're all dead. What, all the, what were those things? The boomer is dead? Oh no, not the boomer. They're like what I fought at the main lab, but more powerful. You kept us out of the loop. Hid the power guard facility. Never told us about these hey, weapons. Hey, we hey, hey. Supported your mission when we should have evacuated. These deaths are on you. Okay, so that whole thing where I was on your side. See, you just fucked that up. This, this fucking emotion. It's your fault. No, 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 no. No, I agreed with you. I told the fucking boomer that you guys should evacuate the base. The boomer didn't fucking listen. All right? And besides, who followed the boomer? You did. You, I mean, guy, if you think that, if you thought this was so dangerous to stay here, quit. Just be like, hey, boomer, I'm out. I mean, if you've got an actual skill set, if you're everything you think you are, you can go get another job, can't you? But, oh, no, you stayed here licking the boomer's asshole because, oh, I'm going to just gonna stay in with my cushy-ass government job working for the closest living thing to James Bond, this fucking boomer. All right, fuck you. Don't, uh, don't fucking get up in my shit, you little fucking space nigger. Uh, I ain't blaming it. Just, just, no. Rushing out at me isn't useful. Exactly. We need to confront this together. Oh. Uh, okay, dead. I'm acting bureau chief. This operation's oh God. over. Yeah, it is. Yes, I'm not working with you. Me. Sorry, friend, but you're on your own. Mm. <laughs> I can punch it. <laughs> you know what? Sorry, friend, but I'm in charge now. Yes. <laughs> you might want to wake the fuck on up. one way to end a conversation. Yeah, it is. Quiet. You're not helping, Kira. Agent Diaz, decrypt <laughs> this Imperial data pad. Right now. Here. Uh, y yes. I'll get right on it. Goddamn right you Encryption will. complete. The enemy took everything from the power guard lab to a fallback position. I recognize these coordinates. An Imperial controlled factory on the industrial level. All right. Good work. I couldn't have done this without your help. You say that like I had a choice. You didn't. You hit me. I yeah. can't believe you actually hit me. I'm going to hit you again, and I'll do if it again. what's good for you, shut up. Shut up. up. <laughs> <But> I... <laughs> All right. Sir, I recommend we inform General Varsuthra. We need immediate reinforcements. Not the enemy's fallback position. Good luck down there. Let's go, Agent Diaz. <laughs> you want some more? I got more where that came from. <laughs> shut the fuck on up. Oh boy, get mouthy with the great one. Let's see how that goes for you. I'm fuck your world up. <laughs> Whew. All right, where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going to the the uh, what do you call it? The industrial district. See, there you go. No fucking map. There's my map. Damn bunch of the. Star Wars developers do live streams every now and then where they talk about what's going on in the game. I've never watched a live stream, live stream, but I have looked at the screenshots from them. And yeah, it's all like overweight women and really gay looking men. I mean, seriously, it is the most. They are just the fucking flabbiest, fattest, gayest collection of people all the pictures of any developers on this game that I've seen like none of them are anyone you would want to hang out with in real life welcome please select an available travel route and as I've mentioned before have a safe and pleasant stay this part of the game we're playing right now well I'm playing you're watching 
these are the this is one of the class stories this is the very start of the game all of this was written this is like 10 years old it's like this was probably started they started writing this probably what like 12 years ago and that's why like in the original class missions boys can only have romances with girls and girls can only have romances with boys whereas in the later stages of the game Everybody can fuck everybody. Boys can have romances with girls, and girls can have romances. Because, you know, because the trannyism and the gay and everything else all slipped in. But this is 10 years old. This is back when people understood there's a difference between boys and girls. Do I need to... I don't think I need to... Stand by for examination and suggested uh, Yeah, repair, sell junk, yes. Okay. Fit for duty. Return to your post. Oh, wait. Report get, your ailments. I don't need that. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Uh, keep that for now, even though this, let's see how ugly this armor set is. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, some of, these, some of these armor sets for the Jedis are just the ugliest fucking things ever. I'm not even going to bother to Stand keep by that. Stand for examination and suggested products. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Like, look at this. So, I mean, this is, I mean, th these are my arm. You know, these are the ones that you've seen so far in the game the armor sets that I put together with stuff that's available in the game and everything. Hey, those are pretty cool. Oh, you can't see that one yet. That's coming up. Oh, shit. But, uh, so, like, this is the armor set that I'm wearing right now. All right, look. Is that not the ugliest fucking thing? I mean, look at that. Is that not the ugliest shit you ever saw in your life? Like, what, what's, like, what, what's this? What's this on his fucking forehead? I mean, that's fucking terrible, man. All right, anyway, let's get on with it. Let's get jiggy with it. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Getting jiggy with it. Oh, hey, Kira, how'd you like a vibrator like that? She says, I'd love that. I know you would. I'd use it on you. See, look, it's double barrel, too. Got the double, yeah, one for each hole, baby. While that's busy down south, I'll stick my dick in your mouth. All three holes filled up. You'll be one happy girl. Na 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 na. Uh, getting jiggy with it. Guess I could hit my speeder. Get there a little faster. Oh, how am I doing on speeder? Character speeder, speeder, speeder. Can I buy this yet? I can't buy this. Uh, yes. Great. I can go a little bit faster. Ah, uh, this way. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay. We got to fight. No way around it. Let's see. Yeah, I can get rid of the map. I know where I'm going. I'm going this way. Now that's what I call a gift.
Mm, where am I going? Yeah, I am going that way. And stay down. Done. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Just can't talk and fight at the same time. I'm not a woman. I can multitask. No, you can't. Multitasking is a myth. There is no multitasking, sweet cheeks. You're not doing that. Find out what's behind door number one. You shouldn't have come. You'll make me hurt you. Oh, wow. You forced me to give up my fellow agents. Now they're all dead. Agent Galen, what happened to you? When I resist, the pain. He always wins. Ah. <sighs> Don't make me kill you, Galen. Yeah. He won't let you destroy me. Oh yeah, it does no letting it more irritating than a Jedi who won't die. Your oh, there's a lot of things. Must end. You know what's more? Your former ally will be your executioner. The new Agent Galen's power is matched only by his obedience. Yeah, there's a lot of things. I forgot the word he used. More annoying than a Jedi that won't die. For example, women. Oh, uh, let's see. Here resist you. Here car. Yeah, but he's a pox. Yeah, you're a pussy. Face me yourself, or are you scared you'll wind up like Tarnus? Tarnus was a child like you, beneath me. Oh yeah. Galen, destroy my enemy. No, I'd rather die. Control factor six initiated. Ooh. Neural Ooh. override complete. Launching elimination protocol. Target? Jedi. Blah, 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 That's blah. It's a lot of talking. He always wins. Yeah, so do I. You know why? Because I'm the closest living thing to James Bond. There it is. You're welcome. Your turn. Stop. I'm 
I'm in control. No, oh, it's more than any and woman can ever be. I spread to the neural overrides. At least temporary, though. I can already feel my systems repairing themselves. But for the moment, you have impulse control, so you, you might be able to go more than 17 minutes without shoving food in your face or buying shoes. Now, how to free you from the Sith control? Can't remove the machines without killing me. But I don't matter anymore. The Sith Lord, Lord Static, has the Republic's Mark III power guards, cybernetically enhanced soldiers armed with advanced weapons. Static plans to build hundreds more, all controlled by him, an army to conquer Nar Shaddaa. Yeah, I'm not scared. From what I've seen, you power guards aren't so tough. The Mark ones and twos you fought were early experiments. Mark threes, practically unstoppable. Yeah, bullshit. Static building his army in Shadowtown, an Imperial-controlled sector. Nastiest people on Nar Shaddaa. And that's saying a lot. This is Aunt Capadice. Yep. Ah! Neural overrides restarting. There's nothing else to do. Kill me. All right. I don't plan to fight you twice. Goodbye, Galen. I can't watch this. Oh, God. I, I want to be equal. I want to be a Jedi, but I can't watch. Okay, well, you need to decide. Well, look at that ass. Dude, that was hot. Yeah, it's a typical woman. Oh, I want to be a Jedi. I want to be a warrior. Uh, I'm strong. I'm independent. I can do it all. Uh, the Force and everything. Oh, I can't watch. You're going to kill somebody who's going to kill you if you don't kill them and just ask you to kill them because he doesn't want to kill you and he wants to die. But I can't watch because I'm so strong and independent. Okay, Kira. Tell you what. Why don't you go back to the ship, get your bitch ass into the kitchen, and me and T7 will handle this because obviously you're not up to it. But the thing is, T7 doesn't have a hot ass like you do. All right, let's just teleport back to here, and we can take the taxi from there. Welcome. Please select taxi, the taxi. available travel route. All right, and away we fucking go, bitches. Ah. Oh. Anything going on in chat? No. All right, where the hell are we going? Here, I get all the way back there. Oh. Dude, like, can you guys clean up all this trash in the street? I mean, look at this, it's like a fucking shithole. A great one, that's what Encapadice would look like, because no one would clean anything up. Well, maybe, maybe so, maybe so. This way... This way. And we are going deep into Imperial territory. Oh, we're going to have to fight pretty soon. Alright, here we go. And stay down. Ah, dude, he died. The great one is dead. Damn. <sighs> hey, when that happens. But no worries. 
great one's about to have revenge. You're done. Now that's what I call a gift. Now that's what I call a gift. All right, where am I going? I'm going this way. Yep, right through there. Want to kill these dickheads? Why not? Why the hell not? Feel my force. Oh, I'll feel your force. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Level 33, bitches. See if I got any new shit here. Nope. 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 All right. Oh, that's a lot of red. Saber jerk. Ha! Those are the Mark III power rangers that are almost indestructible. Yeah, right. I just whooped your fucking asses. Great one 316 says, I just whooped your ass. Now that's what I call a gift. Now that's what I call a gift. All right, let's go talk to this douchebag. I am, I am unimpressed with you, buddy. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What are you, a boomer? He's Wait. tall. I'll give him that. He's a boomer, Seth. So versatile. I just calculated 17 different ways to end your life. Yeah, it's not enough. Calculate all you want, Sith. The Force is with me. The Force? Is that all? That's all I need. Shame you'll never understand what true power feels like. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I'll add you to my army after all. Darth 
I will appreciate that. I might even leave your mind intact, as I did Agent Galen's. <sighs> yeah, it's like blah Prepare blah blah. Scrap metal, you twisted freak. Yep. Nothing to it but to do it. Now that's what I call a gift. All right, where the hell am I going? Oh, hey, look, hey, it's Space Sneaker. Oh, now you show up. So surprised. It's our job to follow people. Mm -hmm. Agent Diaz planted a tracker on you back at headquarters. I Standard you... operating procedure. No offense intended. I thought you guys were Maybe wussing some. out. My nose still hurts. Would have been here sooner, but getting into Imperial territory without a lightsaber is complicated. Uh, well, yeah, um, well, okay, so, yeah. Hope you have a plan for getting out. Leaving's the easy part. We'll have a nice big diversion. Okay. As long as you this don't expect me to do squad, it. A special operations team. General Varsuthra pulled in a favor with General Garza. Got him here quick. We're demolishing this location. Make sure the enemy can't recover anything useful. Sir, I've located the power guard files, including notes on how the Sith controlled them. Orders? Oh. Yeah, that technology is too horrible to exist. Erase the data. I disagree completely, but I've learned better than to argue with you. Good for you. With General Varsuthra. We'll be right behind you. Just need to plant the incendiary charges. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but... It hasn't. Goodbye. Uh, I, you were here because you were just here. I have no desire to deal with you at all. And I just saw something that I need to change. Conversation, show alignment, gain, apply. I wish you would keep this the setting. You have to do settings separately on every character. I wish you would just do the fucking settings. Same on every goddamn character, but oh shit, no, we can't do that. Use your ship's hollow term. Oh, I'm done on this planet. Back to the fucking ship. There it is, folks. Is there anything else I want to do on Narshadal right now before I jet? No, I don't think so. Let's get the hell out of here. Be polite within a group. Actually, it's true. While it is fun to come in the game and like go in the, go to the fleet and go to the chat and you know see all the shit talking and everything like that. Like that, that's the place for that. When you're actually playing the game with other people, yeah, you know, nobody talks about politics and shit. Just go kill the fucking enemy and have fun. And I appreciate that. Can you can you just politics is great and bitching about you know niggers and. Jews and all of their shit. That's that's fine. And trannies, of course, that's fine. But man, sometimes just stop and just have some goddamn fun. Hollow terminal. Yes, this is it. We right. narrowly escaped a major disaster, General. But a lot of good people died. Bad enough losing but I Chief didn't. Raiken and so many agents. But Galen, we'd worked together for years. This turned from Special Agent Tander. His team eradicated all trace of what happened at that Sith base. Thank you for destroying the power guard files. Approving that project was the biggest mistake of my career. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't. I'm sure you've made plenty of other mistakes, and I'm sure you will fuck it up. The research was a failure. The power guards were no match for a Sith. Or Jedi. Another reason to put all of this behind us. Mm -hmm. The Republic's position on Nar Shaddaa is precarious at best. Better for everyone if this operation remains classified. Right. Wouldn't want Sealing the taxpayers to find out what we're doing with you, their money. You and the SIS are the only ones who know the full story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, the people really need to know this, that how fucking incompetent you Keeping are. Keeping secrets got people killed. The reason they died can't stay hidden. I'll file a full report with my superiors. I hope they don't drum me out of the service. But they should. I know you're probably exhausted, but the enemy hasn't given up. Neither can we. 
major tactical advantage has just opened up, but you have to act quickly. Oh, yeah. One of Darth Angle's closest advisors, Admiral Hacklin, asked us for asylum. He wants to defect. Sure, he does. I was with Angle when he interrogated me on Ord Mantell. They seemed chummy. What changed? Not sure, but the Admiral is on the run. There are unconfirmed reports Hacklin's earned a death mark. Yeah, that sounds very One suspicious. One of Angle's top men turned traitor? It's too convenient. Too convenient. Exactly. This is obviously a trap. Obviously. Hacklin wouldn't be the first high-ranking Imperial to switch sides. Until we know otherwise, we have to believe this is real. We? Are Hero you? obviously made an impression on the Admiral at Ord Mantell. He says he'll only surrender to her. Oh, this is... Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. No time to negotiate. Admiral Hacklin's expecting you to, and no one else. Yeah, this is totally a trap. I'll wait for you at an old asteroid mining facility. I'm uploading the coordinates now. What can you tell me about this place? The mining facility is abandoned and well off standard hyperspace routes. It's the safest place we could find for the Admiral. Be careful out there. Yeah, it's totally a trap. Alright. Well, there it is, kids. See you guys at the next installment.